fish the same way that you would cut salmon and you know, the, the way that we're going to cut this is because the spine is relatively soft we're going to cut through in such a way that we don't have to handle the fish too much um, it's really important that when we're cutting fish at the restaurant that we work very clean we have clean towels clean hands uh, clean work surface I like to keep a, a towel under the fish to keep it in place from sliding around on the board uh, of course having a sharp knife is essential as well so we're going to start by Making, making an incision here, going down to the spine, and eventually we're going to work our way all the way down to the tail, take that top fillet off. This, is a, this has been gutted already, so there's an incision at the bottom, which makes it a little bit easier to get your knife started, but we want to come right up next to the gill to start the filleting process. So I can feel I've hit the spine, it runs down the center of the fish, from here, I'm going to change angles. I'm going to go from this cut to now flattening out, riding down the spine toward the tail, peel that top fillet off. So you see my knife is straight down, I'm holding the belly open. I shift that angle, and then with applying pressure to the heel of the knife, working backward, I'm sawing through the soft bones on the spine. Whole time holding the belly open so that the front of your knife doesn't cut through the belly. This is a relatively delicate fish, so it can take a little bit more of a sawing motion. On some of the bigger fish that are a little bit more sturdy, you can go through it in one or two slices. You see, I just pulled all the way down the spine, right through the tail. Uh, when you're butchering fish, it's always very important to wipe your knife after every single cut. You can see there's a little bit of scales that have gotten on from the tail here. I want to make sure those don't go in the flesh. So from here, see there's very little meat left on the bone. The spine is very soft, very delicate, which allows us to cut straight through. Same for a salmon. Uh, to get the other side off, you can do one of two things. You can flip the fish over and repeat the process. What I like to do with these fish, because they are so delicate, is to keep it on the towel this way, and I'll insert my knife under the spine, make that downward cut down the gill, and then again working backward toward the tail. So, coming under the spine, with the tip of the knife, back toward the head, and I'm gonna mirror this cut that I made here, by turning the knife down toward the cutting board. Lifting the head up, getting all the way through. Now, holding the head, again working with back pressure on the spine, cutting down through the tail. And because we're using the spine as the guide, I'm also looking uh, to keep the knife upward a little bit to make sure that I'm on the spine. As I get a little closer to the tail, it just helps stabilize it down here. So now I'm coming out the bottom. Let's lift away. You can see they've got the little feather bones there going down through the belly. We've also got some bones on the top, and then we've got some pin bones to remove here. Okay, and the tool that I'm using to do the pin boning is, uh, these are fish tweezers, they're very inexpensive, a couple of bucks at most uh, kitchen supply stores, you can use needle nose pliers, um, these are specifically designed for removing pin bones, uh, they come in a couple different shapes, a couple different sizes, but whatever feels good in your hand, uh, just like a, a tweezer that you would have in your bathroom at home, just to help you just pull those bones out. Because I'm right-handed, uh, I have the fish uh, facing in such a way that I can use uh, the length of the knife to scoop this belly and the bones away. So applying a little bit of pressure, you can see lifts up the tip of those bones there. Which 
which allows me to get the knife under them for the most part. And working out toward the belly. You may miss a few up top. It's very easy to come back for the second cut. You can see there's no more of those feather bones in there. See, we've got some more up here. Okay, and lastly, a portion of the fish will just come back up the edges a little bit so it's nice and even. Um, depending on the preparation, uh, we can serve, serve it whole. Uh, for the dish that we're serving right now, we'll use half of a filet. And I want to cut at the same angle that the head is at. Same thing down here toward the tail. There we have our portions. It's also important that when you're butchering fish, to keep the skin with the skin and the flesh with the flesh. This just helps to uh, make sure that if there are any scales on the outside of the fish during the processing that they don't get inside to uh, where the meat is at. And there we have our trout portions.